Okay guys, hello. Winter here, and here I'm going to give you an in-depth analysis on how to play Jax. Um, or rather, the things you should be looking for when playing him in the top lane. Uh, right now, I'm playing on my smurf. This is in around Diamond 4, Diamond 3 elo. So, you know, these players are Diamond or Plat, High Plat, Low Diamond. Um, and, you know, we'll get into the game and <coughs> we'll analyze a few things, and then we'll see what we can learn from this. Um, so, first of all, you know, we want to look at the matchups here. Um, um, and two, the two matchups we want to look at the most are the top and jungle because they dictate um, how you're going to be playing this lane. Uh, for this matchup, Riven, it's a pretty even matchup in the early game. Um, it does favor Riven a bit, but if I can win this lane, then I have a pretty good 1v9 or a pretty good split pushing opportunity that I can do. <coughs> and the jungle is Hecarim. Um He's running Ghost. That means he's, uh, his ganks are very... Um, important, or they're very hard to to escape. And we have a cane, right? Cane likes to counter jungle, so in the case that the cane does counter jungle, um, I can choose to shove the wave and help him. But for the most part, this top matchup um, is even, and then the jungle matchup uh, is even. But he Hecarim favors uh, the ganking uh, path more. That means he can just gank my lane. Uh, so we get into the game here. Um, I sit here under tower uh, because uh, I know that uh, the hacker um, can't invade this uh, top side here. And uh, I was thinking of getting a ward here, but this ward is not needed um, because I know he's going to start from uh, bot side and path top. And the reason I know this is just by looking at the lane, um, look at the bot lane at least. Um, the bot lane has not arrived. I mean, if we just look at this from the fog of war, right? Bot lane will arrive this. Like Riven is here first, so I already know he's starting bot side. So I want to save my ward. Um, Riven goes for three Qs here, lands one of them, and I try to counterattack with the E. Um, because she just burned three uh, Qs, good counterattack for me. Now. This wave is shoving in right now, so the thing is, I don't have to fight her level 1. I just burned my E, so she gets control of this wave here. So I'm just like going back and forth. My E's back up, and I look to harass her a bit, right? So every time my E is up, I can go in for trades. Because um, she got Q at level 1, meaning that um, she has to Q auto attack, Q auto attack, Q auto attack. But if I can stop the auto attacks from happening, the trade will go even for me. And uh, she bought. Langster 3 health potions and I bought corruption potion. He, she hits level 2 first, but it's okay. Because she gets shield. I hit 2 here. And the reason why I hit 2 uh, and I can trade into this a little bit is because she's going into my minions. So for this trade here, at first it looks really good for her, right? But the wave is pushing onto me, right? So she has a bit of pressure to go on this level 2 engage, right? But of course, auto attack into, you know, E, stop that engage. I know I'm going to hit 2 um, relatively the same time she is, right? So I, if you look at this trade here, I know I can fight her in this minion wave, right? Because look, she's only 2 like by me. See, I know I'll get 2 off of this minion, right? So when she engages, I walk up to this minion, right? To, to deal damage with it with my uh, E. That's how I hit 2. And then pop a potion, go in, right? She pops a potion as well. Uh, so this lane's pushing onto my wave. Um, I can freeze it here, or I can look to fr uh, get a freeze here. She goes in again. Bam. Okay. So let's see how this uh, fight went. All right. So she goes in. Um, this is a bad engage from her because my minions are just walking up. So all of my minions are going to be targeted into her. Right, this is a bad engage for her because she's like overextending into my minion wave. Um, bam, my auto attack. She uh, goes on the aggression more. So I don't activate my E immediately because what if it's like, if she like tries to harass, um, like maybe it's like a small harass, she can uh, Q in once and then Q twice to back out. Um, I can retaliate, but I don't activate E until I know she's going in for, for sure. Right, Because E is my only trump card against Riven. So, bam, I know th that, um, you know, uh, she's going fully in, 
because she did her second Q. Um, she lands me with the E, but, you know, obviously, I win the trade because the minions are aggroing onto her. So I know I win this trade, 100%. She should not go with this aggressive here. See, look, look at all these minions that are switching aggro onto the wave and onto her. Here, I pop a pot. Um, bam. Just like that. And then, bam. Follow flash, get that first blood. Now, um, she's going to TP, right? So, I want to force the TP out. Uh, so, yep, I forced the TP out. I was going to shove this wave. This cane is here. I know the cane is here. Um, but here, I can just sit under tower. And bide my time. So, let's look what happens here. Here, um, in hindsight, I've made a small mistake. I should have backed here and then TP'd, uh, followed through TP'd as well, but I was being greedy here because um, I didn't think she was going to kill me. I st I still had a, a pot running, right? Uh, that trade here was bad. I shouldn't have taken the trade here. Um, so here, trying to get minions. Trying to, like, yep. And then she kind of kills herself. So that was a mistake by me by overstaying this wave. So what I should have done was I should have um, just backed and then TP back to wave, right? Should have wasted, shouldn't have wasted the TP like that, or I shouldn't have like saved my TP. Um, so this was a mistake, but the Riven made an equally mistake. So now because she made this mistake and died here, I get to TP to this minion wave. I get to catch it, right? So I don't lose a lot of farm. I get this farm, last hit this, bam. Easy. So now I'm just looking to last hit minions. And then I get that minion. So I missed like two minions in that trade. So the wave is even now, right? With uh, my wave going to be shoving in because I have more minions. So this is where I get to zone her out of the wave, right? I'm a level ahead too, so. Yeah, I play super aggressive here. Yep, I can. I know I can zone her out of this wave. <laughs> Take a decent trade. My minions are still winning, so. Yeah, she goes super aggressive for this when she doesn't need to. And then she does again. So let's look at that again. So I have this huge minion wave, right? I hit level five, so I'm a level ahead of her. So going this is uh, going to this fight is completely fine. So here, the reason why I didn't follow her was I'm just trying to thin this wave, right? If I kill the minions here, she can't fight me. Yep, and of course she dies because of it. Um, so she should have respected me and then backed off here. Um, I know that I can kill her with the health that I'm at, right? So this is just gauging when to um, kill the champion. I do auto cancel an attack, which is unfortunate, but I still get the kill. So here. Now I don't have any wards, right? You can see that my top side is not warded. Uh, this is because I know the Hecarim is bot side, right? Um, and the reason why I know that is because he started from blue side, went top, and then now he has to go back uh, to his bot side, right? Um, I can see because this cane is also uh, in the top side, ready to back, and then come to here, and here, right? So, the Hecarim is probably not going to gank me, um, because I know this is gone, because Kane just warded it over here. This was Kane's ward, right? So, he can't be here. Bam. So I get that first uh, tower plating and then I back here. Right. Kane on the top side, so I know I'm safe. I can rotate and then I go back to the lane. Bam. Easy. So this lane is shoving into me again. Right. So anytime um, the wave crashes into a tower, it will shove back uh, 100% if you let it freeze. 
So here, um, I got Tiamat. And the reason why I got Tiamat is because I want to shove in this wave, right? And then I want to look to proxy this farm and then maybe get these camps, right? Um, and that'll set me up for a good um, wave setup. So here, I'm going to thin the wave. I hit six. I actually can go in. So again, um, yeah, I hit six and I go in immediately, right? I have the level six advantage. She can't do anything, right? So I'm going to deny her off this farm. She re-engages, which was a mistake, right? Because she just burned everything, right? So now I know she's definitely dead. Um, yeah, very huge mistake from her. She's just basically inting at this point. So and then I get to show this way for free, right? And then, like, look, I go for this here. Um to deny the Hecarim. Right. Got a deep ward into his red, and then I look to back here. Right. Because my wave shoved in, once I get back to the lane, the wave will be fine. And I got a deep ward for when red spawns, right? Because I'll, I'll see if he's on red. So I know that he's here, because uh, he just died to Kane. So I can shove this wave and look to get his red, uh, if I choose to do so. Again, wave is shoving into me because I crashed it. From here, um, I'm looking to freeze. Right. Up. Okay. So I decided to shove this wave. Yeah, I must. I'm looking for this red actually. Yeah, that's why I wanted to shove. Because I, I know that um, since the cane just died to the hacker here, the hacker probably gonna back and look to go to red. He's probably backed right now and then heading to his red. Um, Oh, he's actually bot side. Oh, because he stole, um, he got rid from uh, Kane. He's going bot side. So this red is actually free to me. Right. Bam, get that ward. And I think I go for this red here. Yep, I'm looking for it. Right, because I know if uh, the Hecarim comes, I can kill him. 1v1, maybe even 2v1. So I, I do see him on the map uh, off this control ward. What does that mean? I know I can take this as well. Because he's he's not um, he can't be at his jungle. There you go. I see him. And of course I can one v one him. Bam, easy. Um, and the reason why I can one v one him is because um, I shoved this wave in, right? So Silver has to answer this wave before rotating. So um, if she doesn't answer, she's gonna miss farm. So obviously this one v one works out really well. Um, and then, you know, I get Scuttle, she flashes for me, doesn't get me, and then I come back top. Ready to catch the wave that she just shoved in. I missed the cannon, which is unfortunate. But that's okay. So another Riven's going to come top again. But, and I've built up a pretty good uh, significant gold lead here. So my plan here is just to shove and then back, right? Um, if the, the Riven decides to stay, I can look to proxy the wave. Um, so, I think that's what I end up doing, proxying the wave. Yeah. I think at this point, I know I have double buffs, so he can't really do anything. Yeah, and here, yeah, I go for him. Yep. And then, yeah. So I'm sitting here, I'm looking to actually proxy the wave. Like, I'm trying to deny her as much CS as possible. I know I can be here because I just killed um, Hecarim. I see the missing ping from my um, Malzahar, but I don't give a shit, right? Because, um, like, obviously, like, Malzahar is shoving the wave in, right? So if the Fiddle 6 does come to help, I just back off, um, and then, like, this guy loses the uh, farm from mid tower, right? So after I shoved in the wave, I proxied. I think I shoved to I looked to shove this wave and then back. I see the cane. He might look for a dive here. But uh, I don't think that's going to happen. So he goes mid. And yeah, I think I do shove this wave. Keep shoving. Yep. I actually killed the ribbon, right? Oh, and since I killed the ribbon, I know I can get this tower here. 
I'm actually greedy to throw this tower, but I realize I have to back. I see Hecarim on the bot side, so I had an option of staying, but um, I'm playing really greedy, so because I know I can. Here I go back into the top side of the map. Um, what I want to do is I want to get control on this, look to get this, maybe rotate bot, right? So, or lane switch bot uh, with my TP pressure. I still have TP. Uh, Riven has TP as well, but not to the degree I have it. Again, looking to shove this way. And if we slow down. I'm just harassing her under tower, because I know I can. I can instant shove here with no wards, because I can literally 1v5. Right, as long as I know uh, where the enemy is. This guy comes, literally gets sticked on, and then I get the tower here, I think. Yep. So yeah, I mean, I could turret dive him, so. And then I do get this, uh, take this tower hit. Still live, though, because I'm a god. Uh, so I like to get this. Then red's up, so I might go for red, but it's too risky. I actually look to back here. Yep. Bam. First tower gone. And then... My cane's getting this, so I instantly go bot. Right? I want a lane switch. I want to blow my lead. I know the Riven just used TP, so... I have a free TP advantage over her, and I get to shove bot for free. Um, some stuff sliding on mid, but I don't really care about that. I'm playing my own game right now. Right? I'm 1v9. Uh, I can 1v9, I can split, right? So this is a free split. Doing a very good job. Uh, last in minions, I have 120 farm. Not the best farm, but, you know, about 8 farm a minute. Uh, or like 10 farm a minute if you exclude the, the first 2 minutes. Here, I get the tower for free, and then this Riven can't do anything, right? She's basically controlling at this point. Nothing can stop me. But I keep going. I was planning on doing dragon, but I was like, fuck it. All right, my team's applying mid pressure, so I'm gonna shove this, um, cause this is a free tower. Some stuff happens mid, I don't really care about that. I'm just looking to shove this tower. Bam. Two towers gone. And I'm up 5,000 gold against the Riven. So my gold lead is absolutely huge. So here, I don't decide to push up, right? Because I know I'm gonna get ganked. So I decide to come mid, I think. She pings that I'm gone, yep. And I do Baron, or Dragon. Yep, so. And I know that I can because my team is applying good pressure on the map. And here I just back, bam. And then I think I come mid with my team here, because um, I don't need to sh shove any side lanes any longer. Um, I think I continue coming by here, because I still had TP, right? And I wanted to just get more farm, like for team fights, in case that does happen. Red's coming up, so I get red. And come back bot. Stuff top is happening, but I don't really care. I plan on shoving this wave. Um, and then rotating mid with my team because um, they seem to be uh, sieging mid, right? So if the fight happens mid, I have TP, and this applies a lot of pressure to the enemy team, right? So they have to respond for this. But yeah, I TP here because I see a fight happening. Yep. Very nice TP from me. Bam, I kill him. And I think I should kill her too, I think? I don't remember. I don't think I do. That's unfortunate. So yeah, um,. I don't kill her, but now, you know, my team's in a good pushing position, so I can just follow my team, um, win team fights, and then look to get this mid tower, right, because I do want to force it before 20. I go in, 3v1, or 3v2 rather, I get the kill, pretty easy, I'm super fed, they can't do anything. So that I anticipated. I knew the. I knew. Um, I like it from my side. I knew what the fiddle was trying to do. So that's why I jumped to the minion here. Right. So I see him channel. 
bam, jump to the minion and then kill him instantly. So it's just uh, good, good map, uh, map uh, reading on my part. So now, um, you know, obviously the spot's pushing because I shoved it earlier. Um, you know, we get this mid and bot pressure for free uh, because of the split pushing I did, uh, and now you know, TP obviously. So here, I decided to go on the Twitch because um, you know he's ADC, he deals the most damage, and I want to kill him. Bam. Um, I open up inhib. I'm gonna get inhib soon. Right now I'm like 12 and 1. I'm 14 and 1. Um, I'm like doing really good. So now once we get mid inhib, I'm looking to transition that into a bot inhib. My whole team rotates with me. So we have this really good push going on. And the enemy team can't really do anything about it when I'm this fed. Um, I've denied too many uh, options. Uh, so I went for that dive because I knew my team was going to clean up. Um, if I wanted to be a KDA player, I could have just waited it out, but I mean, at that point, I was like, "Fuck it, right?" Just, um, just want to get the end hit and end the game. Here, team pushes up like this. It's whatever. So you know, the team is really good here. Um, yeah. So yeah, I have like what. 14 out of 25 of my team's kills. So I think I'm doing pretty good for myself. I think my team can end here. No, I don't think they do. Um, so yeah, they overstay here, but it doesn't matter. Like at this point they can like be greedy and do whatever they want. Because we got we just got two in his, right? And that's like a free baron setup. And I think that's where I do go. Yep. Get some farm. And then get the herald for Baron Vision and then I go top, yeah. To get the last tower. So yeah, I sit here. I actually sit here because I know I saw the Sona. Um, so I know the Sona was coming, right? So I, I'm sitting here because I think the Sona is like gonna pass over here, and then I could just come in and fuck her. Um, that's what I was thinking in this uh, position. And bam, look, she comes, and then uh, I can't catch up to her, but you know, at this point, like I can do whatever I want. Bam, she dies. And I'm like, fuck it, dude. Let's not even do Baron. Let's try to end the game, right? Bam, he goes in. This guy kind of trolls, and then... You know, bam, right? We can end the game now. So I'm just sitting here ending the game all by myself. My team finally comes up, and then, yeah, there you go. And that was a free and easy game. Um, I applied a lot of pressure. If we can go back to the game, um, you know, uh, in the games that you do win in such a good matchup like Jax, look to counter the enemy jungle, look to um, perpetuate your lead by stealing, by proxying the farm, uh, look to get backs on good positionings, and look to, you know, carry the map, um, play the map very well. So, yeah, that's it. I'll go. That's all I got. And, you know, hopefully this... Uh, 